Hello, besties. Um, it's another reaction. This time it's by the late Jeff Beck. And this, go and this song is called Scatterbrain. It was requested for by uh, Scott Walker. Let's go check it out. That's bad, guys, man. It reminds me of a song done by Stevie Wonder on the Songs in the Key of Life album. I don't remember what the track is called, but it's the song. Um, it's a song before um, Sir Duke. Is it Sir Duke? You can feel hello. Yeah. Yeah, it's a song before Sir Duke. So if you know that album, Songs in the Key of Life, you know what song I'm talking about. It reminds me of that song a lot. You know, um, it's kind of like jazz rock fusion. And, and the drummer, you know, is, um, I think um, he must have stolen the wife of um, Jeff Beck or girlfriend because they've got this tussle going between them. But it's a beautiful tussle, a musical tussle. I love it. So groovy, man.
The guy playing the Fender Rhodes piano, he should be arrested. He had no right to be doing all that stuff he was doing there. Ridiculous. The drummer. <sighs> I don't know what that guy was on. You know, I, I don't even know what to say about Jeff Beck, you know, because um, I'm not surprised at what he does. You know, I've heard this guy. He's a monster. You know, that is just a bad song. The groove on that song. It's, oh, Lord. I'm going to check after the video to see who wrote the song because um, I'm thinking maybe because it's Stevie Wonder. I know they've worked together before. Uh, if it's not Stevie, I'll be very, very surprised because it does remind me a lot of that song on the Songs in the Key of Life album. So much. It reminds you of that song, definitely. Anyway, let's get some more of this groove. There's more guys. <laughs> too hot in here guys <laughs> now i don't think it's one guy playing those drums if if it's one person playing those drums and if they were not like overdubbed then um i think that guy might just be from another planet honestly i hear things he's been doing you know i heard some roles if you go listen to the to the hi-hat what he does on the hi-hat right i don't think it's physically impossible, sorry, physically possible to play those drums the way he's been playing them and then do what he did on the hi-hat at the same time. I don't think so. So I think definitely, right, there's either two guys playing or there's been some, like, overdubbing. Um, it's just ridiculous stuff, man. Uh, fantastic. Uh, oh, yeah. I want to check if Steve Wonder wrote the song. So give me one second, please, guys. Wow. It says songs and lyrics by Jeff Beck. Now, interestingly, right, it was released in 1975. I think the Steve Wonder album was 75 as well. I'm going to check what year that was. Okay, that album was 1976. Very, very interesting. So, um, I think it's possible that um, that Steve Wonder was inspired by um, by that song because it was before Jeff's song. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Like I said to you, right? If you know that, if you know the um, songs in the key of life album, it's the song before Sir Duke. Because I remember that when I when I played that album, you know, uh, as soon as that song finished, I just hear da, 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 da. so that's how I know that it's the one before it. You need to go check it out, guys. Um, amazing song, man. That was just incredible, man. Um, <laughs> fantastic stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as usual, please uh, give the video a like for me and I thank you for that. If it's your first time here today, welcome to the hottest spot in town. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Do come back again, please. Better still, um, subscribe and become a part of our family. My name is Harry. Stay cool and stay safe. Most of all, stay beautiful in your heart and soul. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.